Grenfell Tower is a horrible tragedy and a massive failing in terms of both private and public responsibility to the citizens of this country. And it's rooted in deregulation and austerity and the influence of private groups over government. Now, restrictions and so on used to be considerably tighter uh, in, in years gone by when it came to buildings like this. And that became loosened over time as property owners uh, lobbied government or in many cases MPs are property owners and you know that's where they seem to get a lot of their money so they had conflicts of interest here and over time this, this lobbying and this self-interest led them to reduce a lot of these restrictions and inspections and you know quality demands and, and so on on private property owners uh, such as those owning the tower block to the point where you know fire regulations and standards and everything were allowed to slip to uh, a fairly large degree of upping the risk so you know it was really only a matter of time until something like this happened the other aspect is conservative policy of austerity with fire stations, you know, not too far from this area being closed down in order to save money, putting money ahead of people's safety in, in both instances. Now, a responsible private property owner would you know, maintain good standards anyway, but without government watching over them, it does seem like at least some of these property owners have been letting this slide. To the point where we now have at least 17 people dead, probably more. Many people's, you know, 500 people I think lived in that block. Potentially 500 people's lives utterly disrupted or even destroyed. For the sake of what? Money, deregulation, penny pinching. It's a genuinely sy systemic failure on everyone's part. But this is why I can't take libertarian economists or anarcho-capitalists seriously at all. You know, this is a result of a fraction of what you want. You want an entirely deregulated market, uh, assuming that somehow the magical invisible hand of the market is going to deal with problems like this. Well. They're dead. They can't choose to go somewhere else, you know, and they probably couldn't afford to go anywhere else. Social housing has been devastated since since Thatcher's era. So what choices do people have when it comes to housing? Very little, if any. You know, you're pretty much stuck, especially in London, with the prices being as terrible as they are. So what are people supposed to do? There is no genuinely free market here. This was a, a failing brought about by deregulation, and you want no regulation. And then on the other side, it's a failure brought about by conservative policies of just trying to shave a few pounds off the budget. Your way of doing things means death. And there's no nice way to put that. You're willing to sacrifice people's lives. And that's not acceptable to me.